The following video is for informational purposes only. Proceed with the suggested repairs at your own risk. This video is part of a comprehensive 11 chapter series detailing single venous service. Servicing venous requires special tools. The seasoned BMW techs at Bomb Tools will help you choose the right tools for the models you work with, whether it's a single or double venous on a BMW or any other European car you're repairing. The Bomb Tools guys have it, or know where to get it. German Automotive Special Tools since 1959. That's all we do. Now let's join Angelo Campana for an excerpt from his Single Venos Service Seminar. Let's get that engine timing in proper position before we start the Venos removal. Turn the crankshaft pulley clockwise until cylinder one, intake and exhaust cams point to each other at approximately 45 degrees. Now, you can turn the crankshaft counterclockwise. It's acceptable and it's not going to hurt anything, but I do it by the book. So, this is the idea of getting these intake and exhaust cam lobes at about 45 degree angle. Oh, and not a bad idea to loosen the spark plugs now that you've blown the holes out and nothing's going to drop down in that hole. Uh, that's the, one of the methods to my madness should make turning the crank a little bit easier for alignment purposes. You could even remove the spark plugs, but I'd advise to cover them holes up if you pull the spark plugs as you don't want to drop anything down into that hole into the combustion chamber. That right there could really ruin your day. Might even want to inspect the plugs or replace the darn things. Adjust the crankshaft pulley to adjust the exhaust camshaft at the rear where the camshaft has that square piece and make sure that it's flush with the cylinder head. Take your time doing this. You really do not want to mess this up. Time is money and creating a mistake here is something you do, do not want to experience. Now it's time to check the timing marks. Well, using a uh, mirror at about 11 o'clock, you should be able to see the timing mark and the hash mark on the timing cover. You basically tilt that mirror at about 11 o'clock position to provide the correct alignment view. Once you've done that, you should have that. There's a nice close-up shot of the TDC mark, or OT as it's technically called. You should now have everything in place and everything in the right position to start putting that alignment tool in the flywheel into its place for a nice snug fit. Locate that lock hole plug at the rear of the engine. Uh, pry out the plug that's covering that. Insert a narrow screwdriver into that hole and roughly measure the depth. Make sure that you have the right hole lined up. Measurement will provide a reference for the crankshaft lock pin insertion in the next step. So now you're gonna insert that lock pin. When the lock pin is fully inserted, the crankshaft pulley will be locked in place and cannot be rotated. Yeah, it'll budge a little, but check the crankshaft pulley to make sure that it's locked. Now, if the lock pin does not fully insert or the crankshaft pulley is not locked, adjust the crankshaft pulley with slight in increments of back and forth movement. Don't beat on that pin, please. Because beating on that pin, all that's going to get you, especially for you guys up in the Rust Belt country, that it may be just kind of blocked by rust, debris, or dirt, you're going to bend the flywheel. So, a little finesse here, guys. You know, if it can't slip in, beat it with a hammer? Uh, no, that's not the way to do it. Now it's time to remove the studs at the back of the cylinder heads. I would advise you to use a stud puller, though I double-nutted many studs out, but you don't want to break one of those off back there. Just don't do that. So once you remove those studs in the back, this is what's going to happen. Your first alignment section is going to go on the exhaust camshaft. That is the first section of the camshaft locking tool. There's your second section. Now, warning, these camshafts are delicate and fragile, so don't break the damn things. 
Now, these locking tools are aligned with the ends of the camshafts properly. Time to lock them down permanently. But before you do, you're going to grab that 24 millimeter combo wrench handy and get it into the cam to be able to rotate them just to make sure you can fine tune those locking blocks in place. No, don't take a hammer to the locking blocks. They should fit down there snugly using your hands. Again, use some finesse, don't be a gorilla. Complete that by locking down the securing locking blocks. Now you're ready and safe to remove and disassemble the Vanos unit in its entirety. Thanks for watching. This video was brought to you by BTU Service Solutions, a division of Bomb Tools Unlimited, Euro Diagnostic Resources, and Euro Auto Training. We are focused on helping you and your auto repair business thrive. We're eager for your feedback, your comments, and your suggestions. Send us an email, comments at EuroAutoTraining.com. Yeah.